See if you come back real easy, it stops early. Oh, I was just letting it go like that. Hey, this is Dave on the Crafty Channel. On my way home, and uh, there was a, an ad on Craigslist for some machinist tools. The guy looked like he had some uh, pretty good prices. I'm heading over there now to take a look see. See if we can get any good deals. Malts. Ferguson Garden Center on the right where my model airplane club field is. It's getting in the little dusk of the evening. Camera is making it look a little darker than it really is. This should be Hillcrest. Yay! So we'll be on the left. Okay, I think it went too far. That's it. Half up on the same side of the street. Yeah, I've bought a couple things off him. I forget what his name is. I forget to. I, see him I, I, I may have his phone number. I, I, I see him all the time. So what we got here? In this box is the uh, angle block, sign block, some miscellaneous stuff, and then of course the other stuff. Okay. Lay out, so I just laid it all out pretty much. Okay. This is a, uh, I think a brown and sharp ruler, 12 inch ruler. There's a lot of little tiny stuff here that I don't know what they are, but you might have a use for, so I just thought I'd just put it out there. Okay. Just, just a lot of bitsy bitsy stuff there. So you're getting out of the, this is all your stuff left over That's from your stuff career? I bought at miscellaneous garage, uh, garage sales, estate sales over the years. Yeah. What do you want for the uh, 15 on that one? Okay, I'll take that. All right. Do you have a standard for that, by the way? Do you mm. have any standards here? No. Uh, this, I guess, is like a standard, isn't it? And then well, it says one inch. Oh, so you think it's like one inch OD? I would think so. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking to I collect it's some. Uh, it's a round standard. It's brown and sharp. Man, that's an interesting. Uh, what brand is that? Oh, that's brown and sharp, isn't it? Yeah, that's a that's a built one to like two. A tank, isn't it? Yeah, it is built like a tank. You can have that one you, for five. Use that like a C clamp. Hmm. Wow. Is that collar just locked there? I don't know. It looks like it is. It looks like it's locked. Oh, that's a radius gauge set, isn't yeah, that's it? Yeah, a steric radius gauge. What'd you want for that? Ten. Okay. Yeah, what do we got here? Another Just radius gauge. Radius you know, I think gauge. I have a radius gauge set. It's easy that's for me. A, those are uh, parts to a uh, like a lathe uh, chuck. Oh like yeah. A three or four jaw chuck. That's the jaws and the screws. Wow. Hmm. I'm not sure what you call that. Shim stock? I don't know whether it's. I don't know if it, those it's, stare at made shim stock no, or not. That's feeler stock. Yeah. This that's a diamond? A diamond dresser. This is a diamond, probably a diamond dresser type thing, too. Yeah. Hmm. So, what do you want on the sign block? Uh, 20. Okay. I don't have one of those yet. These taper gauges. Is that a tape? What is that? I don't know what that is. Some of this stuff's a mystery to me. There's a tour gauge. What's that? I've never seen. It's a, for something calibrating very delicate tools or instruments. Okay. Well, let's see. You don't have a last word, do you? Uh, no, I don't have that right now. Okay. Got, got one. There's a nice pocket caliber, really, really well made. Yeah. What do you want for this one? Uh, uh, that one would be $10. There's some end mills here. A lot of end mills type stuff. There's a flat. 
fly cutter. I guess you call it a fly cutter. Mm-hmm. There's a nice tapered uh, filler gauge. Wow, did you look this up online to see what it was? Uh, it tells you uh, in that paper, it's first like calibrating the torque on very delicate things. It's hmm. down to inch ounces or inch pounds or something. Very Probably. delicate. This is a... This, that's another dial indicator. So that one's a thou. What's this one? That one's ten ten dollars. Okay. I don't know what it's rated at. This one needs uh that one's pretty sticky. <laughs> Looked like you had about two or three tables worth of stuff. Oh, that's all I got. Okay. All right. I don't see. There's a nice little scribe with a, like a carbide tip if you can use, use one of those. What do you want for that? Dollar. Okay, you can sell me a dollar item pretty easy. I'm pretty soft when it comes to dollar items. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are, uh, yeah, those are uh, automatic center punches, I believe. Yeah. Hmm. I guess I'm interested in this one mm -hmm. at five, but that's got to be taken apart and cleaned. It's sticky. Um, you sure? It looked like it's okay. I couldn't. It wasn't coming back to zero for me. Check it out. Yeah. Cool. So if you come back real easy, it stops early. Oh, I was just letting it go like that. Yeah, but when you're, you know, when you're, when you got it on a shaft and you're turning a shaft, you know, it's. You're moving it real slow. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah I might go seven, but I don't think I want to go five. Okay. Well, I, I have a ton of end mills. I don't know why I'm I'll looking do. at those. Okay. Yeah. I'm starting to collect them. Every time you buy somebody out, you get all kinds of crap like that. What do you want for this? Two dollars. Okay. And see what else we got hiding in there. I don't know what these are. But this is not the right thing in the box, but have you seen these before? It looks like some kind of indicator wrench or something. Yeah, that's some what I was thinking. I thought maybe you'd seen them before. Some kind of wrenches for something. Yeah. I don't What's know the what box they... say it is? Well, this they just stored it in that. That's an uh, indicator yeah, attachment, attachment, but it's yeah. not, that's not indicator attachments. Yeah, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. that's a, that's craftsman. Old, old craftsman machine is great square. Okay, well, what'd you say you want for this one? Five. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. I will figure yeah, out how to make it work. It's gotta go. Got to go in this way. Lufkin, what's this? Oh, that's just an empty box empty case. Empty box, okay. Well, I think I've wasted enough of your time. I wonder if this has got the diamond in it. Yeah, the diamonds, uh, oh yeah, 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 I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, it looks like the diamond's right there. Okay. I'll shine the light on it so you can see it better.
you see it there. Yeah. What do you want for that? Uh, you can have that for five dollars. Okay, I'll take that. All right, go ahead and total me up, and I'll get out of your hair. Five, ten, twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-eight dollars. Twenty-eight bucks. Okay. I thank you very much for entertaining me. Yeah, no problem at all. And I'll watch your uh, I'll watch your ad. Yeah, I come across, when I come across more machinist stuff, I usually add it on there. All right, very good. Okay, thanks. Hey, thank you very much. So there's the hole. This I can hold in a uh, this I can hold in a tool holder. Might come in handy someday. I don't think I have a two to three micrometer. This is a special screwdriver for holding tiny screws. So that's pretty cool. I think I may have one somewhere. The scribe's cool. And the brown and sharp C-clamp grade one to two micrometer. That's built like a battleship there, man. Can't wait to play with that. Put some light on the subject. I've been here before. There's two guys here on Hillcrest within a couple houses of each other that uh, run Craigslist ads for tools. Well, it's been a few years ago, a uh, cabinet shop was selling, uh, having a sale out front and they had a Craftsman bandsaw. And I didn't have a good cast iron backbone bandsaw at the time. And I got this bandsaw to a pretty good deal. I want to say I paid like $75 for it or something. And all they had was rusty blades with it. Had uh, uh, needed new tires, new blades, uh, some new cool blocks, a few things like that. Uh, I was missing the little pin that locks the cut and the table together. Um, and it didn't have a miter gauge. And... Uh, you know, my standard table saw miter gauge fit it fine, and that's what it was supposed to come with. So I got the thing home, got it all fixed up, and sure enough, this guy advertised a miter gauge for, I don't know, 10 bucks, something like that, and I went and got it to get my bandsaw complete. And this was before I was making YouTube videos. So yeah, there you go. I saw this guy's ad a couple nights ago. I think I added a uh, couple things here, a few things here that I don't have. So this is how you grow your shop, just a little bit at a time. This has been Dave on the Crafting Channel and another little adventure. So now I gotta get home and uh, see what's for dinner.